that was nice. We love movies. And we love we the live city. and breathe movies. Thank you, Toronto Film Festival. It is a wonderful, wonderful place to come as a filmmaker. I love the movie. If you want to talk about it after, I'll be walking around, probably around Chinatown or whatever. Uh, enjoy the film, guys, and um, uh, thank you again, and thank you for having us. It's so great to be in my home country of Canada. Thank you, thank you. Well, it was a real miracle of fate, this movie coming together, because when we met with Denis, it was off of uh, Ensemble Days, and he was about to go off and shoot Prisoners, and at the same time, we had just found this incredible short story, Story of Your Life, and we're hunting down Ted Chiang, who's mysterious and reclusive, and Denis told us that he was dreaming of doing sci-fi, and we gave him the short story and said, look, we don't have the rights, check this out, and while he was reading it, we found Ted, and Ted was reluctant to give the rights and said to us, well, how can I you guarantee it's going to be a great film? And we said, we can't. Uh, Denis is such a master of suspense and tension, but what makes him so miraculous is this the depth and soul he finds in the characters. And honestly, he's the only director I know that he puts you on the end of your, edge of your seat with tears pouring down your face. The screenplay writer had a very difficult job kind of taking a, a very, very intellectual and slightly dense story and turning it into a movie. Not always an easy thing to translate. And there's some differences, but the spirit of the, of the story is, is all still there. And it's like this, it's an emotional science fiction film. It's something we hadn't seen before. And I think that's what everybody, when they initially read it, and they, they served that, you know, whether it be Eric Heiser, whether it be Denis. And uh, that's, that's the thing and really the reason that we're here. Reading the script was one of the best things I've read in a very long time. And uh, I just thought it was, I, 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 I remember reading it, I don't remember thinking, Kara, it was such an insular story that, you know, I, uh, I only just cared about Amy and her character and Denis and, and the script and how, how I could serve it. You know, anytime you get a character that is as well developed and emotionally um, vulnerable and yet intellectual uh, with the strength of character, that's a real gift as an actress, and it's a gift um, because it shows, it's a reflection of what women are to me. They're not one thing. They're not purely intellectual. They're not purely vulnerable. They're fully, you know, fleshed out human beings, and, and to see that reflected so beautifully was, was um, a pleasure. And playing it was awesome. I mean, Denis was a joy to work with. I always say it's such a bummer he's not here because he is so much fun, and he has so much passion and so much love for what he does. And you feel it every day when you arrive on set. So I always felt so supported. Um, he, he's, he's the best, he, re he really, if you, if you do a good job, he's like, I deeply love what you have done. And it's a beautiful thing that he does. <laughs> That's my bad Denis impersonation. <laughs> what this film has helped me remember, and being a mom has helped me remember, that intent is just as important as, as content. And um, sometimes in today's media, intent gets lost inside the content. And it's, that's why I think it's so important to have face-to-face -face communication. And that's what this film reminds me. You do have to look at somebody to communicate effectively with them. He's got a real great sense of, 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 of framing and, and patience with his storytelling with the camera. And I mean, it's just a genius and exceeds at that. But they also with that, he has an accessibility, um, I think, in his, all of his movies, but especially this one. Um, and I think he attributes that to kind of just his relations with his actors and trusts uh, the people that are around him. And it's just it's a really pleasurable, pleasurable, easygoing experience. It's very often friendship between a man and woman isn't brought to screen without like a heavy sexual energy. And I love to see that because really friendship between men and women and, you know, yes, sometimes it leads somewhere and, and you know, we don't want to play that hand. But I, I love the friendship that these two characters developed because I think any great relationship is based on respect and friendship. We all feel that we're living in a moment that where communication is unbelievably important, right? And terrible things happen when people don't actually communicate honestly with each other and, and bring perspective to each other's lives. And I think that one of the beauties of, of the film and certainly one of the reasons that all of us got involved was this notion that people struggling um, at a very, very heightened moment, struggling to actually communicate, um, in this case, with, with, with uh, both e each other and the aliens, was something that was also incredibly topical. 
right? And, and was a conversation and a dialogue that felt really worthy of, of, of having. And so to, to make a movie that is so entertaining and so emotional, but also has the underpinning of something that's quite relevant to people's lives right now, um, I think is quite rewarding.